Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a small piece of a bigger course, uh, and I'll be releasing a few of these sample lectures for free over the next few months. So enjoy learning these things, and if you want to learn more, check out the full course over on craigandzana.com. Uh, real quick, we're just going to look at the pricing on some of these other competitors and Weebly. So Weebly, free, has the drag and drop builder, the, the negative downside of Weebly free version, which I don't believe is this little thing right here that says proudly powered by Weebly. Not a huge deal. No one's going to be like, oh, that's the, I kind of like look at it and think, oh, okay, that's probably someone building their own, own website. Part of me thinks good for them. I'm glad they did that. Part of me thinks, I don't know, it distracts me from the, like the regular idea of the website. Um, but that's not really a big deal because all you need to do is pay $8 a month for a year, um, which is not a lot at all. And a domain is going to cost you about $8 too. So to get rid of that .weebly.com thing to just have like coffeeandbooks.com is going to cost you about 8 to $10 a month or a year. Sorry, that's way cheaper than a month. And your plans on Weebly are going to cost $8 a month, $12 a month. Uh, a little bit more if you want to sell stuff on your website. I mean, you can sell stuff with the $8 a month, but it, you, your fees are higher, so you're going to want to sell things at these uh, these higher price points. But anyway, for all intents and purposes, we're going to start out with the $0 a month plan. So basically, you don't have to do anything. It's not going to have you select this right away. You can it'll It's going to prompt you quite a few times. So like, oh, do you want to upgrade? Do you want to upgrade? Go ahead and say no for now every time that pops up. Later, we will worry about upgrading to these things once you decide. Basically, you can build almost your entire site, decide whether or not you like it, and then if you do, then you can pay for the advanced features if you want them. Otherwise, you can just, like, let it go. So the major pricing differences are, you know, there's $8 is the basic one. Wix also has a free version, but they start to ramp up really quickly to $10, basically, if you want to go to the same level that the $8 one is. 14, 17, 25, and it doesn't have nearly the capabilities that the higher uh, levels of Weebly does. That's the thing with Wix. It's like, it's okay. The websites don't look that great, uh, and the websites are so simple that it's almost frustrating to use, and the builder is not user-friendly. User Basically, Wix's big advantage is that they just dump a ton of advertising money. You've probably seen Wix commercials. Um, and so that's like the first place a lot of people go. And actually one of Weebly's biggest user bases are people that have migrated from Wix to Weebly because they realize it's a better platform. Squarespace, again, is kind of another option that's like worthwhile checking out. You have to pay for the basic level. It's $12 a month, which is pretty pricey, honestly. Um, and $18 a month for business. That's where it kind of like evens out. But again, the websites are just not, they're great. They look absolutely beautiful. So do Weebly websites. Now, look, these aren't that much different than uh, than the Weebly ones, the Weebly themes that we just checked out. So really, you know, this is just, you know, just in case you want to check out these other ones. And you can build something with Weebly and then go build something with these other sites because these other sites are very similar in the way that they work. So if you learn how to build a website on Weebly and for some reason you want to go do Squarespace, the things you learn in this course, you can definitely migrate those things over to Squarespace. So with that said, the next uh, video that we're going to work on is customizing your domain name, which this is something you can do right away if you want, so that every time you publish your site, it's just the professional looking books and coffee or coffee and books dot com rather than the dot weebly dot com. But if you don't want to do that, we're just going to go through it real quick so you know how to do it when the time comes. Otherwise, we're going to watch that video, and then we're going to do your actual inquiry to get your site up and running. If you're already doing it along with me, good for you. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.